In this video I'm going to take a look at how you can draw lines with arrowheads on a Python TK Inter canvas. Consider the following lines. If we look at this one, we've seen how to draw these in previous videos. It's just a line and we draw it between two coordinate positions. If we have a look at this one, it is also a line, but we can see at this end it has an arrow. If we consider this line, we can see that it has an arrow at the other end here, and this one you can see has an arrow at both ends. Now you would typically want to draw lines with arrows on, for example, if you were going to do the axis of a graph. All of these lines are drawn by invoking the create underscore line method associated with the canvas class. If we consider this line here, if I wanted to draw it with an arrow at one end, I still use the create underscore line method, but I pass in to a named argument a value, a string value. And if we consider what that would be, it would be this. This is the named argument, and it's been assigned the string first. If I consider this line, then what I would do in this case is I would still use the create underscore line method, but on this occasion I would set the arrow to last, the string last. Now this line, well you can see it's got an arrow at both ends, and when we create it we have to pass into the named argument arrow the following, the string both. Let's consider this computer program. We see we have the usual line here to enable us to use TK Enter. This creates a window. This creates an instance of the canvas that's associated with this window that was created here. The width of the canvas is set to 400 and the height is set to 100. And the background color of the canvas is white and this positions the canvas on the window. Now these five lines you can see are are all with reference to this canvas, this instance, and what we're doing in each case is we're invoking the create line method. If I come to this one, what we can see is happening is I'm going to draw a line between this coordinate position and this one here, and the color of the line is going to be blue, and I'm making the width of the line 5. If we come onto this line, you can see we're still invoking the create line method. And if we look at the arguments, we have got this additional one here where I'm passing into this named argument the string first. And we can see the rest of the arguments are more or less the same, except I'm choosing the coordinate position here and here to be further down the y-axis. And then, of course, we come onto these three lines, and you can see that they have the named argument set as last, both, and none. So let's have a look at what this program will produce as its output. And you can see its output is here. Now this program statement is responsible for this line. If you consider this coordinate position, that's here at position 10 on the X and 10 on the Y. This coordinate position is here, 390 along the X and 10 down on the Y. The color is blue and the width is 5. This program statement produces this line. And if we look at this coordinate position, you can see it's 1030, which is here. And you can see we've gone down the y-axis to 30 from the 10 it was for the previous line. This coordinate position is here. And you can see again, we've gone down to position 30 on the y-axis. The color is blue and the width is 5. But look here and you can see compared to the previous program statement, we have this additional argument where we're making the named argument arrow assign the string first. The result of adding this argument is that we get this arrow head here in this position, which is regarded as position first. This program statement produces this line. And if you look at this line, you can see here we have the arrowhead. Now that's because if we look to this argument here, this named argument arrow, then we're assigning that last. And that will mean that the arrowhead will be put in this position here. This program statement is responsible for this line. And if you have a look at the named argument for this one, you can see the arrow has been assigned the string both. And what 
this will do it will give us these arrow heads here in other words one at each end of the line and you can therefore see why we use the word both because the arrow heads are on both ends of the line now this program statement is responsible for producing this line and you can see if you look at the named argument we've made arrow assign the string none meaning we don't want an arrow head on the line and you can see here there isn't an arrow head on the line but if you consider this line in the output you can see it's the same as this so this program statement and this program statement here have exactly the same effect on the output in terms of the fact there's no arrow head at the end of the line on either end the thing is for this one you can see I haven't bothered putting in the named argument arrow whereas here I have put in the named argument arrow but I have assigned it none now you can go with either of these the reason you might have this here is because you might have been experimenting with arrowheads and then decided well I actually for this line I don't want any so you just change this to none rather than deleting it check out the supporting website for these videos in addition why not follow me on twitter as i issue a tweet every time i upload a new video